night, three months after catastrophic flooding tore through Alexander County, several roads are still closed, and families who suffered the ultimate loss are trying to rebuild. Fox 46's Ryan Kruger takes us back to Alexander County, where the repairs are happening on the roads and in people's hearts. It's a day that no one here in Alexander County will ever forget. And sadly, wherever you look, you see constant reminders of that tragic day from three months ago. This is incredibly scary. OK, we're backing up. We're backing up. The collapse of the bridge on Cheatham Ford Road was captured on this now viral video. Three months later, construction crews work nonstop, but the work will take months. We're looking at about a year from now before we get that back because initially when they did that they said it could probably be fixed and then I think after a while they said that the bridge actually had to be completely replaced. In all there are 13 roads in the county that are still closed. Emergency workers have had to come up with different routes to do their jobs but the biggest work in the county isn't to heal the infrastructure it's to heal the soul. And I thank the Lord for getting us through it that day. But I lost an angel. Robbie Flowers lived in the Hidden Night family campground with his family when flash flooding killed five people, including his one year old grandson, Mason. Robbie was holding Mason in his arms when they tried to escape the flooding, but the waters were too fast. Mason was ripped from his arms. If anybody's ever seen an angel, I got to live with one for a year. Flowers says he's relied on his faith to get through this tragedy. Recently, he spoke at the East Taylorsville Baptist Church, where he told a story few had ever heard before. I helped bring Mason into the world. I helped deliver him on October the 25th in the parking lot of a fire department. The campground remains closed. 21 families were left with nothing. They turned to the East Taylorsville Baptist Church for help. I remember asking the first guy that got off the bus, he just had shorts on. You know, it was like nine o'clock in the morning. And I said, hey, buddy, where's your stuff? You want me to get it? And he says, you don't understand. We don't have even nobody here has anything. Finding permanent homes for the 21 families is proving difficult, as are the road repairs all throughout the county. There's hope that federal grant money will soon be available. But for now, the work goes on. We're all working together to strive to get better and to also strive to get through this. And Robbie Flowers says the biggest blessing his family has received, a charity stepped in and renovated a house for them. They're together now. They're trying to heal, but always keeping young Mason in their hearts. In Alexander County, Ryan Kruger, Fox 46.